Welcome! Today we will show you how easy it is to design an off-grid system with Sony Design Web. This requires your registration. If you're not already registered, please use this link. Then log in with your credentials. You can now start a new project. Sony Design Web offers four project types. In order to design a new off-grid project with battery storage, we have to select the option PV project without grid connection. The first thing is to enter a project name, along with selecting a geographical location. Weather data is then automatically provided for your location. You can double check the meteorological data or create your own location with imported weather data. In our particular example, we will choose Kumatsi in Ghana. Sony Design Web guides you through the plant designed step by step via the upper navigation bar. Now we will proceed to defining a load profile. For this example we will choose a typical load profile for a remote village without production plants. And we will define the annual energy consumption. You can check the load profile details here. If none of the provided standard profiles match your needs, you can also define your own load profile. In the field 30 minute peak power, you have to define the peak load of your system. You can use the suggested value, which is calculated based on the annual energy consumption and the load profile. If you know that your peak power deviates from this value, then you can set the actual value. This is critical for the calculation of the system stability. Now we can proceed with the configuration of the PV system. As a first step, select the desired PV module. In this case, we will use a generic model from SMA. You also have to choose the orientation and mounting type, as well as the angle. Please leave all other parameters as default. You can now use the system assistant to get a reliable system that is able to cover all loads at any given time. Sony Design Web offers you a list of inverters that can work with the PV size of the system. The list is ordered by profitability. Choose a configuration and click Adopt Design. In our case, I'm going to choose the STP20000 TL30, which is the suggested option at the top. You can see the inverter details here. Our next step is to continue with the configuration of the storage system. Here you can select the Sony Island model or adjust the battery size and type. When making changes, please check that the system stability is not jeopardized by making sure that the system remains within the suggested operation ranges. 
we can now go to the configuration of the genset. In many off-grid systems, a diesel genset is already on site. If this is the case, we can of course have to enter the settings of the genset regarding apparent power and active power. Once this is done and the, and the system is within the ranges, we can proceed to the wiring sizing. This nice feature of Sony Design is that allows you to calculate power losses in the wiring. The total power losses should be less than 1%. If this is not the case, you should increase the cross section of the cable. In the next section, we will get a well-arranged overview of the energy mix, the battery usage, and the fuel consumption and annual PV power. A more detailed analysis of the plant settings, performance, and losses is shown in the overview. If you want to go back and change anything in your plant setup, you can directly jump back into a particular section by using the upper navigation bar. All other settings will remain unchanged. Finally, we can create a project documentation by selecting all the documents that we want to have in our PDF. You can send this PDF directly to your customer as a project proposal. To make it look even more professional, you can enter your own letterhead under My Sony Design. That's it. It took us less than 10 minutes to design our own off-grid PV plant using SMA Sony Design.